Well, happy Friday. Today's word of the day is from Genesis chapter 21, verses 8 through 21. I hope you'll turn in your Bibles and I hope you'll read that. Um, This is one of those God had promised to give Abraham and Sarah a son. However, I don't know if you've ever been caught in this situation. Maybe you didn't totally trust that somebody told you something was going to happen. But when God tells you it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But it's going to happen in God's timing. And Sarah tried to kind of step a little bit ahead. And so she offered her servant girl to her husband at that time was totally appropriate. And she conceived and had a child. So let's fast forward. Sarah gets pregnant. What? Surprise, right? Because God said, hey, Sarah, you're going to have a child, and Abraham's going to be the father, and the child's name was Isaac. This fulfilled the promise that, uh, that God had given Abraham. He gave him a son. Now, here's the big catch. You ever been at one of those birthday parties, and you're having a big celebration? I don't know about you, but I love birthday parties. I love all of the celebration, all the surrounding, and you're looking around, and all of a sudden you realize, wait a minute. Who are they and why are they here? Well, this is kind of one of those situations, but especially happened because Sarah was uncomfortable that Hagar and her son were there, even though she had given permission. So she tells daddy, Abraham, hey, they they need to go. And Abraham's not wanting to cause conflict like most of us. Guys, we don't want to cause conflict between the wives, right? So what does he do? God speaks to him. Actually, she didn't just ask him. She demanded that Hagar and Ishmael be just totally cast out. Not just leave the party, but leave the whole village, leave the whole tribe. And God spoke to Abraham. Praise God, Abraham listened. Abraham tells him to do whatever his wife says. Gentlemen, that's a clue to us. If God used Sarah as a wife to speak to her husband to get the message across, maybe sometimes... We should not take for granted we know it all, and we should listen to our wives when God speaks to our wives and follow that direction. You see, God loves all of his children, absolutely. And as a result, God protected Hagar and Ishmael in the wilderness and allowed him to be the father, Ishmael, to be the father of a huge nation. Now, got kind of intense. They're wondering, where are we going to go? What are we going to eat? How are we going to live? God provided absolutely everything that they needed. She thought she was close to death. She thought her child was going to die. And what does she do? Same thing that we mostly do. We wait till we are in despair and we cry out to God. Then we listen. And God says, hey, here's what I need you to do. He provided water. He provided sustenance. And as a result, the child grew up. And obviously we get to see the end result now looking in retrospect. God gives each one of us choices to please or displease him. However, in all situations, God never stops loving, never stops caring, and never stops providing for us. So can I just encourage you, no matter what the denomination, what skin color, what political affiliation, or your monetary status, I challenge you to allow God to give you directions. And when God gives you directions, and he does, you follow him just exactly the way God gives you directions. This is a great story. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you'll depend upon God's direction in your life today. Have a great rest of your Friday.